Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be talking about fabrication drawings and what they are and how you build one for your project if you need it. And that's kind of the key point here is that most people don't actually need a fabrication drawing. And that's because of things like this. This is an online PCB calculator here, a PCB ordering tool rather from an on, uh, from a online provider. And basically this is where you put in, you know, how am I, pan am I panelizing? What size is it? How many am I getting? What are the layers? What are the material types? All these different things here. This is often what goes into a fabrication drawing. So let's take a look at what a fabrication drawing is. This is from Dale from the, the KiCad forum. This is a great example here. So this is a drawing that he did on the left side that he's dimensioning. And so he did things like uh, you know, showing the, the outside outer dimensions of this you know, somewhat odd shaped board here. So you say things like 2.578 inches wide by 3.91 inches long. And that's going to tell you your max dimensions as well, because they're not going to make anything smaller than that. So you're going to get quoted probably on that, that maximum width as well. But then things like the drill holes, right? You can see uh, what, what size is the drill hole, what, what is the spacing on them. And then these can, this can actually be used for dimensioning for incoming inspection. So if you have someone at your assembly facility saying, OK, does this board actually conform, conform to what the drawing says? On the, on the right side here, we have things like general notes. We have fabricate per ANSI IPC A 600 IPC. I've actually never read that spec, but basically these are some specs that kind of conf uh, that a lot of the the uh, PCB manufacturing industry complies to. And in this case, he wants Rojas compliant. Um, and then and then you start going down the list here, and you see things that actually kind of showcased here as well, right? So we see things like solder mask. We have solder plating. Uh, so solder plating is going to be hassle instead of uh, enig. Uh, we're going to have fabrication files. We have tolerances. We have outlines and, and things like that. So, so basically, this is laying out everything that kind of exists here. And this is necessary sometimes. You'll have a, a vendor ask you for these things when uh, you're not going through an online calculator. It's, you know, for a long time, you didn't have these online, online ordering and quoting things. Instead, you had to send them a drawing and say, hey, what, what's the price going to be on these things? And then they say, well, the specs are this, and, and so that's going to cost x dollars for, for that kind of thing. And so in this case, uh, we want to show you how to do this kind of thing. So let's go and look at one of the, the projects we've been working on here. So this is the, uh, this is the Dawson Blink Input project. So we're going we're gonna to be selecting the drawings layer here, and we're going to put everything on the drawings layer. So we're going to actually, first thing we're going to do is we're going to just grab the dimensions here. Uh, hopefully, the, uh, it looks like the, the sizes are large enough here, so that's good. Or sorry, the right size. So we can basically say, OK, this is 2.54 millimeters <laughs> wide. That looks like an inch. To my to my uh, metric to imperial conversion i, uh, this way here. Let's see. Okay, and that's uh, looks like two inches. Okay, one inch by two inch. There we go. I believe this was made for the Oshpark process as well, which is another good example of an online calculator. We don't have to think about this stuff. So uh, this was put onto the drawings layer. Like I said, we can just turn this off now. And that's why we want to be doing this. So most of the time, you're not going to want to see the drawing layer. What we're also going to show here is, and we're going to do a really simple version here. Um, but what we're also going to show is uh, we're going to do that, that same thing with the notes on the right side here. And I'm literally just going to do that with text, uh, if I can. <laughs> so we're going to put on the drawings layer. And we're going to say things like, well, let's, let's split screen here with, the, uh, uh, with that drawing. And we'll, we'll copy some of this stuff here. And so we'll just say things like general notes, fabricate. We'll just say fabricate per spec, spec, use FR4. And obviously, you're going to put these uh, on your, your drawing to whatever your, your vendor asks for. It is green, things like this. And then hassle uh, plating. Things like this, and, and you know, you basically the, the thing that I do want to point out as well is if you're struggling at all with this. So you know, the first time that someone asked me for a drawing, I was like, oh, okay. Um, can you send me an example? That'd be really helpful. I'd love to. You know, th that's the kind of the wording that you say when you need a little bit of help. I would love to to conform to your process. Can you please send me an example? And the board house was like, of course, sure. You know, like they want they want the same thing that you want. They they need the information. They want it to get across to them. Uh, and so if they have an example file, they'll send it to you, and then you can go ahead and and replicate that and make it look the same. Now. KiCad does not have a lot of the tools that like an Altium has in this case. So Altium has really, really um, extensive tools for this kind of thing. But it doesn't have it yet. But I think I was able to, to kind of replicate the process of the, the sheet that I got. And I did things like, like we're showing here. OK, so we're just going to put this text in here. So we're going to put this. No, it's not left justified. We'll do that. 
and I'm, I'm, I am always struggling to see the, the outline here, but you see there is a red outline box here, so let's, let's left justify this thing. And we'll make it a little bit bigger. Make this two by two, two, and we'll make it 0 0.4 thick. There we go. Okay, so this is on the drawing there. Like I said, we can turn this on or off whenever we want to here. And um, so there's one other thing that might be in your uh, drawing here, which is the stack up, right? So uh, where is it here? This is what I want to do. So this is another example here I found online. Uh, basically, you might also need to put the stack up of your PCB, right? So in this case, this is 0 0.063 inches tall, which is uh, uh, 1.6 millimeters. So that's just the standard size. And that's usually what you're wanting to do here. Then you say, okay, I want the inner, uh, I want, this is going to be a, it looks like a, a, f a six layer board here. So we're going to say, uh, we, you have to say the, the thickness of the actual copper itself and then the thickness of the inner layers, right? So this inner layer here is gonna be 0 0.012 thick. Uh, it looks like they're not listing the actual copper thickness, but that, let's see, so uh, copper, yeah. So it looks like the, the plating stuff is over here. So, and, it, and it's kind of like, like I said, it could be whatever your, your fab house wants to actually have as your standard here, but um, you put in your tolerances here, you could put your thickness of the plating here, all solder surfaces hot air leveled with 63 or 640 tin lead. So that's basically ha hassle uh, um, plating there. Uh, but I don't see the thickness. Oh, here we go. Half out. Yeah, here we go. Internal layers one ounce copper. External layers half ounce copper. Right. And so that basically is showing what the thickness is going to be on the inner layers and the outer layers. And that's spec here. So in this case, we would have to do the same thing. Now we could we could try and do a stack up. I've done um, I've done a stack up as well with a uh, bounding box in the past, right? So I've done things like like this where I will, uh, let's see. So I'll actually go and I'll draw uh, basically what looks like a, a chart here. And you could go and you could even copy that in there. But I've basically drawn like a, a this is going to be really ugly. But I've drawn like a chart. And I would do, you know, basically what is the layer on this one? And then maybe what's the thickness? You know, maybe another column for what's the thickness? And then some descriptions about it, and the same kind of thing here. And basically, there's other examples you can do out there. So you could do, you know, like the whole legend looks like up here. You could do this kind of thing. Uh, because KiCad has gotten better in terms of imports, I would probably just go and import, uh, you know, make a graphic in uh, in a spreadsheet program, export it as a SVG or a, a DXF or even just a BMT. You know, take a screenshot of it and then import it as a footprint here. You could do that same thing and import it to the drawings layer or another layer that makes sense here. Okay, so we're just going to leave that for what it is. That's kind of up to you and on how you want to do it. But what I want to show is the last thing here is let's go and actually print this fab drawing. So what do we want to do here? We want to we want to get the we don't need any of the copper layers, but what we do want is we want the drawings layer, and we want the uh, you know if you have anything else on these other eco layers or uh, whatever. But we definitely want the edge cuts layer as well. We want the outside outline of the board. We want the comments we have here, and then what we do want is we do want the print the border and the title block. Um, Actually, before I do that, let's go and add some stuff here. We might want to do things like Contextual Electronics as, a, as the company here, or the companies below. Let's just copy it for both. Uh, revision one, put in the date, that kind of thing. You put other comments here. You could say like, drawn by CJG. That's my initials, right? And that's going to go. Oops, that's going to go. Again, red text, hard to see, but it is down here, right? So that's going to go there. And then let's go and print this thing. Uh, so we print the board level, got our different layers here, and let's go to print preview. Aha. For some reason, it's on the custom, we'll say fit to page, print preview. It looks like, did I turn off the print preview? There we go. Okay. Yeah. And so this is what we want here. So basically, this would be what I would then send to the fab house. And maybe, you know, even I want to put things like, maybe I want to put the, uh, out, the outline of the, you know, that some of those components on there. It's kind of up to you. Like in this drawing, it's showing, it's showing some of the drill holes as well, some of the registrations. And so in this case, you know, they wanted to showcase these uh, specially uh, plated holes and things like that as well. You could do a lot of things there. Like I said, you might want to do uh, a lot of different things, but I would, I, what I would do is I would go and I would uh, ask your board house, your board fab house, for what they actually want there. 
So if you have any other questions, you can always ask down in the comments down below. There's always the contextual electronics forum as well. Like I said, most of you are not going to need this until you get a little bit more advanced and start going to fab houses that are outside of the online, uh, online providers. If you do that, though, uh, KaiKed is capable for doing these things. You might have to do a little bit more manual than other programs. But definitely check around online for some examples. And like I said, try and get an example from your fab house. That's all for now. We'll have more videos about manufacturing, designing electronics, and PCBs here on Contextual Electronics. Thanks for watching.